Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting session where I'll explain you the step-by-step -step process to install XAMPP Server. Now the world of web development could not have been what it is without the XAMPP. It is one bundle of a web server application, database and scripting language. So before we move to the installation step, let's understand what exactly is XAMPP. So XAMPP is an abbreviation where X stands for cross-platform, E stands for Apache, M stands for MariaDB, P stands for PHP, and the last P stands for Perl. So XAMPP is one of the best Apache distribution that helps web developers create a local web server for testing and deployment purpose. It was designed to be one of the easiest ways to install and run a development server, and it is the most complete package. Now to install XAMPP server, what you need to do is go to Google, and you need to Google install XAMPP server. So the first thing which you'll get is the Apache friends link. So just click on that link and you'll be redirected to the download page where you'll have the option to download it for Windows, Linux, or the Mac OS. Now, since this is a Windows system and the steps are almost the same, so I'm gonna execute this on Windows. So let's download the latest version, which is the 7.3.6 PHP and we'll download the 64 bit so it might take a while to download this so i've already downloaded this file though so let me open the executable file i'll pause this download so as you can see here i have already downloaded this file so let me just click on the executable file So guys, uh, if you have a password, uh, just type in the password to install any of the applications. So this is not a very long process, but it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to install the XAMPP server. And since it's something that has a bundle of all the various aspects and of web development, like we have the server, the databases, various databases, we have the PHP My Admin, which is the administration department where you can monitor the SQL databases and the PHP and the every other code you have there so you'll get some warnings but don't worry these warnings are nothing so again this will pop up a setup page you just need to click on the next now this is an important page or the important pop-up box where you need to select the components whatever you want to install here so for example for server Apache is a must, uh, then you have MySQL, FileZilla, you have the Mercury Mail Server, you have Tomcat Server. Now all of these servers play a different role for different purposes. It's better you install all of them, it's not that heavy and it will not affect your computer as much as any other applications out there. So for programming languages, you have PHP and Perl and other programming languages, you have the PHP My Admin, which is the administration part, we have the Webalizer and the fake send mail. Now, I don't know what this fake send mail is. So if you know what it is and what it does, let us know in the comment section below. Click on the next. Now uh, you will be redirected to this page and here you need to select the path where you need to install it. And again, then confirm by using next. Now this will open a web page the moment you start the installation. So don't worry about that. Now the setup is not ready. Just click on the next button and it will start the installation process. Now this installation might take around five to 10 minutes depending upon the speed and the internet connection you have. They are unpacking a lot of packages and installing them. So Bitnami backed this XAMPP product, the XAMPP server. It helps installation of all the different aspects, any other third party application you want, like any other extension you want for XAMPP, you can install it and you get a lot of free installers as you can see here you have the wordpress you have the joomla drupal now once the installation is done it is going to create an uninstaller so in future if you want to uninstall the xamp server or when you're done with it you just need to click on the uninstaller and that will uninstall every files that 
they have installed in your system so it's almost at 75 percent now and anytime now this will turn to 100 percent so you get this final dialog box when the installation is complete and then again it will ask do you want to start the control panel which is the zam control panel so let's click on the finish button here and you just need to select the language here so i'm going to select english and voila you have zamp installed in your system so one more important thing here is to understand what exactly this control panel does so on the left hand side as you can see here we have the models we have the apache mysql filezilla mercury tomcat uh, you have the pids you have the ports which is the process ids you have the actions when you can start this particular service you have the configuration the logs now if you want to start the apache we'll just click on the start button here so as you can see here it's started on port 80 443 now to understand this ports uh, just click on the net stat because a lot of times what happens is that some other application might be running on this port and you since that port is occupied apache will run on some other port so just click on the net stat you'll get to know the address and the ports and what exactly is running on these ports as you can see here You can click on the refresh if you have made any changes about the changes so if you want to customize on which port you want to run which service so let me just click on the stop button here you need to click on this config button and just click on the apache httpd.config so what it will do is open a text file for you which contains the configuration and the various details of the particular service what you are using so as you can see here we have the listen 80 which is running on the 80 port now you can customize this as in if you can make it 8080 change the same one here you want to run it on this port click on file click on save cross this and just start it again now this time as you can see here it's running on the port 8080 now this can be done to all the services which are there present in the control panel it's not just limited to apache and this is also useful if you know which ports you are dealing with and you are too much into configuration and you know how the backend works and if you want to change the port on which a particular service is running so basically initially it runs on 80 but a lot of time it happens that any other application is running on that port so you need to change it to another port that you are familiar with and since if that port is occupied the control panel will shift to another port automatically but if you want to customize it just click on the config and change it to whichever port you need so i'm going to revert it back to 80 which was the original one by default now again i start apache as you can see here is started on the port 80 itself you can do the same to mysql i'm going to start mysql now so again this will ask for a security alert just allow the access to whichever communication you need as in public networks and you want to use it for private networks also you just click on allow access and then again if you have a password windows will ask you for a password so as you can see my is running on 3306 and you can check it here as you can see my is running here on 3306 the apache is running on 80 let me just stop all of these so guys that is how you install the zam server in easy three four steps so guys if you have any questions regarding this session please feel free to mention it in the comment section below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to know more about all of these technology related videos subscribe to our channel till then thank you and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!